With a roar to rival a passing jet, the cicadas are on the move. A remarkable bunch called Brood 10. And when the males let loose with their mating call... That's airplane noise. If we were in the center of Brood 10, you wouldn't hear that airplane. This particular strain emerges in the mid-Atlantic and a few Midwestern states, living underground on tree roots, counting the seasonal cycles of those trees, and coming into the light only once every 17 years to fascinate entomologists in the right place at the right time, like the Smithsonian's Floyd Shockley. Um, periodical cicada mass emergences are one of those once or twice in a lifetime kind of things. I hope people, you know, aren't scared, but enjoy the show. In busy areas, a million and a half could appear per acre, a trillion in all, rising when the soil temperature reaches 64 degrees. Are they dangerous? No, although they can damage some small trees where they lay their eggs. No, Are they edible? Yes. Oh yeah. That's the sound you want to hear. There are videos online offering recipes, like this one from the Tennessee Farm Bureau, if you can stomach it. Do I eat the eyes too? A little crunchy. Got a leg stuck between my teeth here. If you spice them right, they taste a lot like shrimp. Why are there so many? Because everything eats them. Cicadas survive only because there are too many to be devoured entirely. Will they be around long? No, just a few weeks. Periodical cicadas are only out as adults for that one thing. It's to mate, lay eggs, and die. But will they bug some people? Absolutely. There's even a new film this spring, and you guessed it. The creepy guys are called Cicada. Unbelievable. So scientists say if you are caught in this creeping, crawling cicada storm, don't think of it as a scary nuisance, but a natural wonder like the Grand Canyon or Niagara Falls. That's what they say.